firstly, yeah, thanks everyone for, uh, for being here tonight, and not just tonight, but for your, your ongoing support um, of our football club, and, and in particular our women's program that uh, we're celebrating tonight. It doesn't seem like that long ago, maybe seven and a half months, we were wrapping up season six at the MCG, and uh, we were bitterly disappointed. Um, we were proud of the way we go about our business and the people that we have in our program and in our football club, but we were, we were really disappointed that we came up short uh, when it mattered most, and that probably brought about a lot of reflection. Uh, where were we coming up short? And that had been six seasons where we felt like we were doing everything right. We had good people. We look after each other well, but we just kept coming up short. Um, and as Daisy said, we, you know, we sort of, poor me, we've, um, if the ball had bounced the right way or if percentage had helped us, then it might have been different. But uh, we all know that doesn't get you anywhere. And um, I think the, the missing ingredient um, that turned out to be true this season was what we've all been calling demon spirit. But we look back to the grand final last year and moments where we, a teammate needed help, um, moments when the pressure was a bit too much and we were a bit tightened up and we were in our heads, there was no one next to them to uh, put a smile on their face or tell them everything would be all right and we've got this. That's, um, that wasn't the feeling that, uh, that we had last grand final. And it certainly wasn't the case throughout the season. There, there was times where we got it together, but um, when it mattered most, we were, we were sort of just fighting our own battles. And ultimately, that's why we came up short last season. And um, fast forward to now, that, that, that's the distinct difference for me is we had a, a group of women, not that those that were just taking the field, but um, the whole team was in it for each other. Uh, and David just mentioned before about watching the players run out onto the ground, the smiles on their faces, um, it was clear they weren't overwhelmed with the occasion. It was a, a celebration, an opportunity to play with each other, a gift um, and a chance just to be our best as a team. And to see, I guess there were some moments throughout the season, um, Re Watt, who Daisy spoke so fondly of, and rightfully so, um, the first time she spoke to the group, she said, I would love nothing more than to watch you hold the cup up at the end of the season. This was someone that had just been recruited into the program. Um, that was their main goal. So straight away, you're, you're winning when you've got, um, got a mindset like that. Um, Karen Paxman um, stepped aside as vice captain after six seasons to give someone else the opportunity to grow, knowing full well her leadership and the way she goes about her footy is not going to change. Um, I guess Sammy Johnson uh, had waited three or, three or four seasons to get back to AFLW, um, played the first three games of the season and then made way for Blaheen. That was part of the conversations we had, made way for Blaheen to play onto the wing and then started future planning for um, the next father, uh, or sorry, the next um, mother daughter or mother son to come through. But um, the season was just littered with those moments, like Gabby Colvin to, to start coaching Georgia Gall, Eliza McNamara to spend a season on the bench, um, giving all that she had to the team, you know, when uh, she'd suffered a horrific injury and could have easily taken energy away from the group. But... So many of these moments uh, throughout the season, but the clear difference for me is yeah, the capacity to do something for others, not think about yourself, treat the game as a game, a celebration, and what a beautiful game it is, but don't get too caught up in it and too nervous and tense and, and worried about outcomes. Just enjoy the moment, enjoy the opportunity to play with each other, and, and that's definitely what the group delivered on this season. And I guess it was halfway through the year for me, we'd... It might have been five and one. We were winning games, but there was uh, there's some restlessness. Um, the team wasn't fulfilled, and uh, you know the coach was a bit restless. Our leaders were certainly restless. We were sort of wishing the season away. We just wanted to get back to the finals. We just wanted to get to the grand final. We just wanted to right a wrong. Um, and ultimately, we were just chasing the wrong thing. And there was some serious reflection in the middle of the season. And I know for me personally, stop chasing. Stop chasing a premiership, let it go. It's not going to define who you are. It's not going to define us. It's not going to make you a better person. It's not going to make you a better coach. Um, and I'm certainly not claiming any of those things now, but we, we were yeah, just chasing the wrong thing. And you can understand why. Like it's a, The competition's in its infancy and we just fell short. We retained our playing group like it was right there for the taking. But um, And thank you to our leaders and some really honest conversations. We just let go. Stop worrying about that and enjoying what we had and 
This team just started destroying teams. They were focusing on the minor detail of, of team defence or winning a contest, the little things about making Fitzy smile every time she went near the ball, but all of a sudden it just became about the little things, about celebrating someone like Costi who's right under your noses, but if you're too busy worrying about that, you miss those opportunities. Um, and the shift, it was just a beautiful shift in the team and brought about so much enjoyment and fulfilment. And whether we had that at the end of the season, it didn't matter because we'd grown so much. And funnily enough, it's sitting right next to us. But what we've learnt this season is really special, not just from a footy perspective, but for, for life. Um, and I know the group has been thoroughly enjoying the celebrations this, this week and rightfully so, but this should be seen as the, the start of something really special off the back of a hell of a lot of hard work by a lot of people. So um, that's really all I wanted to leave with you tonight. I think Demon Spirit has been the big winner uh, for us this season and to all the staff um, right across the club, to all the family members and supporters, two seasons in one has, has been one hell of a ride. And for those particularly with young families, it's a lot to take your loved ones away. So um, a massive thank you to, we all, to you all for everything you've given and to support these fantastic athletes, I shouldn't call you athletes, that was a difference on the grand final, fantastic footballers um, that give everything for this footy club. So thanks everyone, really appreciate it.